Warning! This video contains frank discussion of matters of sexual morality. Just thought you might want to know. Hey! Welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. As long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today. The Ten Commandments. So far we've talked about the first five commandments, and now it's time to tackle the sixth. Thou shalt not commit adultery. This time, incest. What is it? Is it against the sixth commandment? Well, the Catechism defines incest well. Incest designates intimate relations between relatives or in-laws within a degree that prohibits marriage between them. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2388, first sentence. Intimate relations in this context clearly means sexual relations. The first thing to remember about incest is that in many cases it's not voluntary on the part of one of the participants. This makes it rape, which we've covered separately. Secondly, if neither one of the incestuous couple are married, this makes it fornication, which we've also covered separately. Third, if one or both of the incestuous couple is married, but not to each other, this makes it adultery, which we again have covered separately. If you remember, we found that rape, fornication, and adultery were lust, lust, and lust, and therefore against the Sixth Commandment. Because of this, only one last question remains to be asked about incest. What happens if two consenting individuals decide to marry one another incestuously? Is it still a form of lust? Here, it's hard to see why it would be at first. Although it's both a sexual act and an action, fulfilling the second and third criteria for lustfulness, it doesn't seem to directly act against procreation, or seem to prevent perfect unity with one's spouse or total self-giving. There are good practical reasons not to engage in it, of course, if you study modern genetics, but lustful? Why? Well, in order to understand the Church's answer to this, we need to discuss marriage, also known as matrimony. What is marriage? I'm going to turn to the Catholic Church's Code of Canon Law for the answer to this question. The matrimonial covenant, by which a man and a woman establish between themselves a partnership of the whole of life, and which is ordered by its nature to the good of the spouses and the procreation and education of offspring has been raised by Christ the Lord to the dignity of a sacrament between the baptized. Code of Canon Law, Canon 1055.1 However, Canon Law also has this to say about marriage. In the direct line of consanguinity, marriage is invalid between all ancestors and descendants, both legitimate and natural. Code of Canon Law, Canon 1091.1 Consanguinity means blood relations. In other words, Canon 1091.1 is saying that incestuous marriages are invalid. In fact, you can get an annulment from marriage to a blood relation because the marriage was invalid and wasn't really a marriage, so it didn't really happen. So it turns out that incestuous marriage is actually impossible. Because of this, if you have two consenting individuals who decide to marry one another incestuously, it makes no difference at all. They can't do so because it's impossible. And even if they try to do so or claim they've done so, it still makes no difference. As with divorce, the moral character of their actions is the same regardless. Because of this, sex between an incestuously married couple would still be either fornication or adultery, depending on whether either of them are married and therefore it would still be a lustful decision in any case. Next time, sexual perversion. What does it mean, and is it against the Sixth Commandment? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.